Brad Wharton here for Cage Warriors in Amman, Jordan, and I'm joined by one of the young men competing on this Friday night's Cage Warriors Fight Night 11, Arnold Allen. Arnold, great to have you back in Jordan, man. It's great to be back. Now, I've been instructed by some of your teammates to ask you about um, the hottest up-and-coming MMA gym in the country, which is Arnie's Gym, <laughs> which I believe is in your back garden. Can you tell us a little bit about Arnie's Gym and what's going on down there? Oh, it's just a, it's just a load of weights and stuff from uh, my dad's strongman days when he used to compete. He brought all like, the Atlas stones and the, the train things he's got in there, all his weights, all the stuff, just all in my gym, uh, in my garden. So just use that when I can't get to a proper gym. <laughs> handy, uh, handy thing to have in your back garden. Yeah, guess, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, it talked about training and development. I want you to cast your mind back to, I believe it was Liverpool last year, and uh, there was a situation in a bar after the event where you did quite possibly the best dance I've ever seen. I think you got on like uh, like a hover mower or something and, and, and scooted around the bar. I'm just wondering if you've been able to develop any new dance moves that we're, that we're going to be seeing in, uh, in, uh, in coming Cage Warriors events. I haven't really improved in my dancing, but. Yeah, we'll see what new moves I can pull out. I mean, that, that, that was, was the lawnmower. The lawnmower, yeah, it was pretty spectacular. Right? I stole, it was pretty that. Spectacular. stole that from a guy called Jack Goodwin, so if he's watching. Shout out to Jack there. <laughs> um, down to business then, man. Uh, you know, sorry for all the, uh, the mess about it, but it had to be done. Um, yeah, a lot of guys are talking about you as one to watch. You know, you're undefeated, um, a couple of great wins on Cage Warriors uh, in the books for you now. How do you feel about having that kind of, does it, does it put pressure on you when, when people say, oh, yeah, you've got to watch this kid kind of thing? No, no, that's, that's, that's what I want, you know, I want, I want people to realise you know, I'm doing good and uh, I want to be doing good as well at the same time. I don't want to not be talked about. You know, so, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with everything so far. Cool. Um, you know, you, you're from a gym in BKK which is yeah. mainly recognised uh, as a grappling gym. Uh, a lot of the guys there say that you know, you're, you're one of the, the hardest hitting guys in the gym when it comes to boxing. I'm going to put you on the spot now. What would you say is your biggest strength? Because we, we've kind of seen a, a bit of both from you on Cage Warriors. Uh, I think my, my striking is my biggest strength. It's just, I don't know if I'm at a level where I've used it to my full potential yet. Like, I, I know I'm a lot better than I've shown, so we're, we're on the feet, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident I've got a lot more to show, so hopefully, hopefully Friday night we'll see. So, I uh, talked about Friday, Tobias Huber, um, yeah. you know, another guy had a lot of fights, crafty veteran. Yeah, sure. um, what what are you expecting from this guy, and, and what can the fans expect from the fight? Uh, just just looking at his record, I'm I'm pretty pretty confident he's going to come in and grapple with me, and uh, try and take me down and get another submission to his uh, fit his sub. All his finishes have been submissions, so you know, I'm 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 pretty confident that's what he's going to do. But I, I don't think he's going to get the takedown if he's looking for it, and uh, I'm I'm happy wherever wherever the fight goes either. So yeah, I, I know I say my striking's the strongest thing, but I'm still. I'm still confident with my grappling in, in itself, so yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, yeah, you've been out here before. Um, yeah. What's your like impression of the Jordanian fans, and uh, how is how is it different fighting here than, than back home? For it was, uh, I didn't get the full experience last time out because of the snow, but uh, I see some of the I saw uh, the videos from the last time a few weeks ago. And it, it was crazy. Like they really get behind the fighters, and it's it's amazing like to see people really support the fighters like that. And, uh, I wish the fans back home would, it was just the same to be honest. Yeah. Just get behind everyone. It's good. I mean, a lot of people getting behind you and, and your career. But you know, speaking personally, uh, where do you see yourself in, in say a year's time? Uh, I, I'd like to be fighting like for a title around that time in a year. I, I want to sort of make my mark this year and uh, sort of sort of try and earn that shot. You know, I, I think uh, a year's time I could do it. Get uh, get the featherweight title for Cage Warriors. I see the guys. Like, we're up there, there's some good competition and uh, I definitely see myself being able to hang with those guys so yeah, I, I reckon a year's time I'll, I should be able to have a belt. Well we look forward to uh, following your career over the next year and we look forward to your fight on Friday night. Yeah. This Friday night at the King Hussein Youth City Boxing Arena right here in the Man Jordan, Arnold Allen versus Tobias Huber. Do not miss it, check cagewarriors.com for all the broadcast times and of course follow us on social media at Cage Warriors.